Alright, so I'm back and today we're going to do a, another rant of the week. And this one... <sighs> we're losing a dear friend. All, for all us classics collectors. They announced that they are retiring the Seeker Mold. And... I just wanted to talk about it. Yeah. I mean, they did great with this mold. It it is really run its course. I think it's time. Uh, it's unfortunate because we're not. Uh, we might. Rumor is we might get the uh, Red Wing figure uh, still, but as of right now, uh, it doesn't look like it. We're getting a G two Star Scream and that weird prototype version of Thrust. Um, whatever that name was, I can't remember. But it's just very unfortunate that uh, we didn't get everybody, um, but we got multiple versions of the same one. Um, uh, you know, this this mold really, really went through the ringer, I think. But, I mean, you know, we had like five, six different versions of Starscream, at least. Uh, three or four different versions of Thundercracker and... Sky Warp and you know half a dozen Ram Jets um, only one Acid Storm and only one of the Seekers but or of the Rainmakers um, but yeah I just yeah it, it was definitely an over well way way overused mold um, and it's probably gotten to that point where Either they're going to have to make a whole new version of the mold or retire it. And they're retiring it. You know, um, yeah, I read somewhere that they actually had to rebuild the original G1 Optimus Prime mold once um, from scratch, like build a whole new version of the mold. Um, because the original one had been used so many times that it was unusable. Um, so you know, unless they're gonna do that, um, you know, maybe that maybe that's why they're retiring is because maybe the mold has just been through the ringer. You know, they retooled it a number of times, and they've probably been touching it up as they go because I mean, these guys are still pretty well designed. Um, but every now and then you get samples where, like the acid storm that I got right out of the package, a lot of the acid storms and the star scream from Universe 2.0 were really bad. And so was um, the original Hinkade, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. They were just dreadful uh, with quality control. Um, so, so yeah, like I said, I mean, it's probably it, it, it is probably time. Um, it's unfortunately that it's time because, like I said, I, I would I would have liked to get the Red Wing figure, um, and I and I'm hoping to get some other, you know. I was hoping just to get random seekers. Um, I think there's a dust storm, an ice storm. Um, you know, those guys I, I would have liked to see. I mean, I, ju I just love seekers. I mean, I'll, I'll buy all the seekers. You know, I'm, I'm planning on getting all of them. Uh, the uh, Action Masters, Thuncracker's on my list. I've pre-ordered the, um, the weird thrust prototype. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and I also got the G2 Starscream on pre-order. Um, I'll, I'll just, I just love Seekers. These things are awesome. Um, they're great troop builders that aren't, they're not like the Viacons or the, um, or the Viacons, I guess, actually. Um, the, both Beast Machines and Prime Viacons where, you know, they're just a bunch of the same thing. Yeah, these are the same thing, but they're all different colors and thus are different characters. Um, you know, e even if they're minor characters, these guys are all different characters. Um, yeah, and, and I think I, I think this is has got to be has to have been the most successful mold to come out of the classics line. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, everyone gave Nerf gun Megatron shit um, and the Optimus Prime mold don't get me wrong I mean sure that thing got has gotten a lot of uses too uh, you know a lot of people love that mold but 
Uh, I, I don't even think the G1 Seeker mold can hold a flame to what these guys have been used for, um, both officially and uh, knockoff-wise. Uh, I mean, let, 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 let's let's do the math here. Um, let's see, I think I this one I'll need a pen and paper. Let's see if I can remember all the seekers that have came out uh, from from the actual companies, not the CHMS seekers. Uh, and I'll touch on that later. All right, so we got uh, classic Starscream, classic Ramjet, classic Skywarp. Okay. Uh, then we had uh, that was that was really it for the classics line. Uh, then we had the Universe 2.0 where we got Acid Storm and another version of Starscream. Um, then we had the Henke versions of Ramjet Starscream. Uh, eventually we got um, Skywarp and Thundercracker. Um, and then we got Dirge and Thrust um, later on. Uh, and then time-wise, we'll take a step back from the, those guys for a second. Because we also had uh, the BotCon, uh, Games of Deception BotCon, uh, where we had a Thundercracker, a Dirge, and a Thrust. Um, let's see here. Hinkei had the Ghost Star Scream. Um, then uh, Generations came. And we got another... Thrust, Dirge, and Thundercracker. Uh, we had the G, uh, G2 Ramjet. That was the TFC exclu or, um, TFCC exclusive. Um, let's see here. Uh, then we had the United NK reissues of Skywarp, Thundercracker, Starscream, Ramjet, Dirge, the rest. Uh, and then we had the BotCon Seekers. Uh, Hotlink, Bitstream, and Sunstorm. And then we had see, Action Masters Thundercracker. Um, I'm trying to think if there is anybody else. I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Oh, now we were going to get the G2 Starscream and the, um, what's its name? Yeah, so, let's see, in total, 10, 20, 30, 31 times this mold has been used, um, by my count, from my memory. I'm sure, I'm, like I said, I'm sure I missed somebody somewhere along the lines. It's 31 times. Um, you know, Optimus Prime, you know, we had the Optimus, uh, Classics Optimus, Classic. Ultra Magnus, then we had the NK versions of both, um, United version of Ultra Magnus, and Nemesis, and um, let's see, we had Age of Extinction repaint version, and then we had the um, Shattered Glass version. Which, I mean, this is a lot of versions of a mold, but that's not 31. <laughs> Uh, and, and like I said, I'm sure I missed one or two, um, you know. And then we had CHMS, um, who came out, came out, um, you know, it was a knockoff company that was actually doing a high quality. I have one sample here, but he's actually not in the best condition. Uh, I will do a review on him as he as he is, and then I'll try and fix him. But, um, but they they came out, they they redid. Uh, the Hinke, Skywarp, Thundercracker, Starscream, you know, the main six. Um, and, you know, it, it was one of the few times where it, it divided the fan base pretty evenly. Because um, while they were packaged almost exactly the same, uh, eventually they started putting, uh, taking the Tomy logo off the front. Uh, 
and putting CHMS on the front. Uh, but it kind of divided the fan base equally because, um, you know, half the people are like, you know, these are knockoffs, they're horrible, you know, nobody should buy them. And then the other half of the people are like, well, they're a lot cheaper and in most cases were better quality than what um, Takara was putting out. I'm not saying Hasbro. Yes, Hasbro had their issues with uh, Acid Storm and the um, white version of Starscream. Yes, but Takara, that was the worst one. Was because I owned that that Thundercracker, that Takara, the original Takara uh, Thundercracker, and it was horrible absolutely horrible i spent a hundred dollars on this figure and the launchers wouldn't stay in uh one of the missiles would not stay in because they um the spring was too strong or something like that like i'd put it in there and it would, it would make a horrible noise and then pop out on its own um so he, he never had both his null rays in it uh, he uh, the wings would not stay up and um arms were super loose you couldn't even get the null rays in the shoulders because they were so loose um, and I tried everything I could to fix it uh, but it was just so far off that it just it was not gonna happen and then it's the first time I moved his foot one of the uh, let's see, where, do I have, where did I put that seat? Uh, first time I moved the foot um, this little joint right here just kind of broke right off uh, it, it, it was pretty bad uh, and then I got the CMH, CHMS version, and it was actually infinitely better. Joints were a little too tight in some areas, especially the hands. Um, but overall, it was a really good. Um, it, it was a really good version of him, and I, I really appreciated that. Um, same goes with the Thrust and Dirge. I did have the original Takara versions of them. Uh, and you know, I spent like $150 on the two, and, and, and I think Toy Arena allowed me to make payments on the thing because uh, uh, it was a lot of money for me at that time. Um, and it was just, it was just stupid. Um, you know, you're spending so much money on these official versions, and then all of a sudden the the this K knockoff company comes around and it's like hey yeah we can do the same thing and we can do it better and cheaper uh, which was very appreciated at the time uh, but then they branched out and this is where uh, you know they actually succeed where a lot of knockoff companies uh, you know that I see will never will never win uh, because a knockoff company is essentially just knocking off a toy but CHMS kind of put their own spin on it while they were doing this. They, uh, um, they, let's see, they did their own Rainmakers, uh, which was awesome. Um, they're, they're bright, bright colors. Um, they did uh, Sunstorm, which is the one I have. Well, actually, let me go grab him. So they did this sunstorm here, um, which, you know, he wasn't, you know, he's kind of yellow. Um, a lot of people call him mu the mustard seeker. I call him piss storm because uh, he's not sunstorm. Uh, but, I mean, you know, we got uh, official sunstorm here, and, you know, he's not really orange either. He's more of a yellowish color. So it's like, yeah, I, I'll have both these guys on my display shelf. Um, you know, I, I'm debating on getting the uh, those neon um, rainmakers as well, but um, but the most critical part uh, of like like the sunstorm is you know this wasn't something that Takara or Hasbro had made yet, and it was great that we were, we were getting the, this this thing in, but a lot of people were like oh we don't like it we want them orange, so they made him orange, I mean like that that quick I mean we're talking like a month 
uh, in between this release and the orange one. They listened to the fans and they quickly responded to the fans by by making the orange sunstorm. Uh, then they made the clone seekers. Then they did uh, um, for some reason why they did the ghost seekers of everybody, which I uh, I've never been a fan of that. Um, the clear seekers or clear anything really. But I mean, they did that, and then they, I mean, just on and on and on. They kept doing all these new things. Uh, the fans were like, "Hey, we want to see Acid Storm in uh, the Hint K color scheme, you know, with the like the stripes and um, stuff like that." Um, they wanted to see that, so they were working on that before they closed. I don't think they ever actually finished it. And they also had teased that they're working on a hooligan, and we're potentially going to be doing all the cyber jets. Um, so it was just kind of like, wow, these guys, they listened to the fans, they were cranking out these figures, um, and they're all released within like a $20 price range. It was really great. Um, I, I really wish that they were still around so that uh, I could round out my collection now that uh, Takara is not. Takara and Hasbro aren't going to finish them. The last of the Seekers that I would like. Um, because I'd like to have Seekers of every color there is. Um, anyway. So, I think, uh, like I said, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, I can't go off on this tangent on the CHMS, but, um, you know, the Seeker mold itself, um, like I said, it's, it's about time that they retired it. But, I am going to miss it. Um, and, I'm going to be so pissed if they replace it with a better version because I've invested a lot of time and money into my, my Seekers. I, I know you can't see them all, but I've got, I've got uh, the Core 3, or the Core 6. I've also got the Rainmakers, Acid Storm, and now Piss Storm, um, who needs, he needs help. He needs a lot of help. But he's gonna get help. I, I shall help him. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's just about it. Um, yeah. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on the Rainmaker or on the Seeker Mole being retired? And. Uh, oh, okay, so three questions of the day. What are your thoughts on it being retired? Is it about time? Are you a little disappointed that we're not getting more uh, out of the mold? Um, two, um, what was your favorite version of the mold? Which was your favorite represent character that came out of the mold? Uh, easily right off the top of my head, I have to go with the G2 Ramjet. I love the coloration on that guy. Um, also, the Takara... Um, Ramjet was just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And the third question is who is it that we did not get? Um, you know, did you want the Dust Storm or whatever? Uh, did you want Ice Storm? Did you want the Red Wing figure? Uh, I, I think Red Wing would probably be my number one pick. The Red, a Red Seeker that just screams awesome. Um, you know, or, or did you guys want to see like, um, slipstream in this color screen or in this mold you know something like that um so those are my questions of the day um yeah i guess that's it